What's up, guys? Eli Stream here, ready to test viral Minecraft tricks and hacks that literally defy logic. And of course, make sure to leave a like with your nose. Ha! I know none of you will be able to do that. And make sure to subscribe for more epic Minecraft content. All right, now let's do this. All right, what are we testing first? Wait, what? Did he just go through a floating column of bubbles? How did he do that? Okay, wait, soul sand, and then he's got walls of glass around here, and then dispensers? Wait, why is he putting empty buckets in the dispensers? That makes no sense. And then putting the water in front? Wait, did the dispensers just suck up the water but leave the bubbles behind? No way, what is this glitch? And then you can make invisible elevators? I, I do not believe this, we need to try this. So you're telling me that apparently a block of soul sand surrounded by glass and dispensers is going to be able to suck up water but leave bubbles behind? I find that hard to believe. I reckon that Microsoft has definitely gotten rid of this glitch by now. There's no way this bug is still in the game. We're about to test whether or not this viral hack is actually real. So first off, guys, what? They had the glass on the sides here, and it was on three sides, I believe it was, just round here. Actually, you know what? We didn't test it. This is actually legit in survival as well. So we'll switch into survival mode here, guys. And then they had three dispensers round the back. And then what? Filled up the water here? I think that was it. Oh, but there was a bubble column in here as well, guys. So we've got to come down here. We'll just quickly destroy that block there. And this has got to be soul sand. All right, cool. So we've got our bubble column now. That's floating us up. But then they put empty buckets inside the dispensers. I really don't understand this step. I guess the buckets like fill up with the water when you activate them with redstone. All right, let's give this a go here, guys. We're going to go one, two, and three. All right, that sucked up the water. Wait, are the bubbles still there? Maybe? Yes. Yo, what? Guys, look, the bubbles are still there. There's no way this works. We need to switch to creative. I'm just going to destroy all these blocks real quick. And these buckets are filled up here. All right, guys, moment of truth. We're in survival. Let's see. It actually works! Okay, there's a reason why this trick is viral. This is so cool. Invisible bubble elevators! Awesome! Okay, I need to know what we're testing next. TNT on stone? Okay, yeah, great. That whole thing's about to go kablooey. In three, two, wait, what? Wait, it didn't blow up, but how? Is that retextured? That's gotta be water? How has he got water inside blocks? Oh, they're slabs and stairs. He's waterlogging them. Does that actually work? So you're telling me I can just grab any random block and as long as it's got water inside of it, when I blow it up with TNT, it won't actually go kablooey. That doesn't make a lot of sense, guys, because you see when I waterlog the stone here, the top is still stone. It should still blow up. The water's going to be underneath it. I honestly don't understand why or how this would work. Like, why would waterlogging work? I don't know, but we're going to fill this all up with water and we're going to give this a good old crack. But honestly, I low-key think, guys, that, you know, this is just clickbait and what they did is, like, got bedrock or something. I need to see it for myself. If this doesn't work, this is just a huge waste waste of water. So they build a wall by having stone brick stairs facing towards each other and then waterlogging these stairs. See, again, it doesn't make logical sense because the water is inside of these stairs. The, the stone is still on the outside, so it should still blow up. But then again, we are testing these tricks and they're supposed to defy Minecraft logic. So we're about to see whether this is another one of those very confusing, illogical ideas. All right, so here's our test wall, guys. Let's go ahead and chuck a block of TNT here, guys. Are you ready to see this explode? Because I don't think this is going to work. Three, two, one, let's see. And... Boom! What? It didn't explode! Oh, no way! It's true! It's legit! It's real! Okay, yeah, now this is definitely breaking some Minecraft logic. So you're telling me that as long as I built my entire house out of waterlogged blocks, I'm never going to have to be scared of a creeper again. That's so cool. Okay, I'm excited. What's next to you guys? Okay, a, a wall? Wait, why isn't he walking through? I don't understand. Just walk through, man. It's, there's just air there. Wait, a lever? And now we can walk through. Wait, he hits the lever. And then he can't walk through, but there's nothing there. There is something there, a fence gate. You're telling me the fence gate means you can't walk through even though it's under the ground? That makes no sense. That's illogical. We've got to test this. Now, I must admit, coming into this video, guys, I thought most of the things we were going to test weren't going to work. I thought it was just going to be clickbait, but so far, they seem to be working. So I'm really keen to see whether this invisible door actually works. So what have they had? We had, like, a little doorway, so we'll build a quick one here. All right, there we go. Bang, bang, boop, and bang. And then under the ground here, they had a fence gate. Wait, it's legit. Guys, look, the fence gate there means I can't walk through it. And you're telling me if I open it, I'll be able to walk through it? Maybe? Okay, wait, we'll open it. Okay, we'll walk through it and... Wait, but I fall inside the hole. How am I not supposed to fall in the hole? Wait, they had redstone hooked up to it. Maybe that makes a difference. All right, we're going to go ahead and dig this up. We'll dig out the redstone just under here. Bang, bop, wire the redstone underneath. And they had a lever connected. So I hit the lever and that opens it. And now I should be able to walk through... I still fall through. I don't understand. Oh, I get it now. That's why they had the ground covered up in carpet, guys. If we go ahead and we just bang and cover all of this up with carpet and cover the fence gate up. Yeah, that should do the trick. And then we can cover the redstone too. Perfect. All right, so now it's closed. We can't walk through. It's true. This TikTok hack is once again legit, guys. This actually works. You can use it to make invisible doors and then we can click the lever 
and we can walk right through. And this time we don't fall into the hole. How awesome is that guy? Oh, I just had a genius idea, guys. Think about the trolling potential that is right here. Just think about it for a second. I need to troll my best friend, Ethan, because guess what, guys? You have this lever inside your house, right? And you just walk through and then you go ahead and you hit this lever from the inside of your house. And then you tell your friends, oh yeah, just come through. And then your friends, right? I'm like, oh yeah, he just walked through the doorway. We can too. And they try and get it. And they're just like, wait, we can't walk in. And they have no idea that you have blocked them with your invisible door. Guys, the memes and the pranks that you can do with this are awesome. You need to build this in your own world, but not until we try some other awesome tricks. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, what is he doing with a wall of bedrock there? Placing water next to it? What is he going to try to do? Explode it with a boat? Huh? Dispenser? What? Okay, well, that didn't work. Oh, wait. What is he doing? Wait, no, 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 no. You can go through walls? Impossible. Nope. I just, I cannot believe that, guys. He got a dispenser, chucked a boat in it with some water, hit the button, and then suddenly, poof, he could just go through walls. Not just any walls, walls of bedrock. Literal bedrock. I mean, if you can get through bedrock, you can get through anything, which means you could phase through into your friend's base, and they would have no idea. You don't even have to destroy it. Okay, I, we need to try this, guys. I, this has got to be an old glitch. Like, here, okay, I'm placing my bench right now, guys. I don't think this works in the current version. I reckon this is clickbait. It only works in, like, an old version or maybe java edition only we're about to find out whether it actually works in the latest version all right let's go ahead we'll chuck some water in there he puts the boat inside the dispenser because apparently it doesn't work if you place it and then he put the button there bam puts our boat out and now we just got to go in it did that wait did you guys see that wait no way! i just went so right through the wall there guys i just boated right through the wall that was awesome and i was in survival and i took what like one heart of damage and i was totally fine this is crazy this is crazy i can just sneak into my friend's base steal their diamonds steal their emeralds all of that beautiful good stuff -hoo -hoo! i am feeling like a million bucks right a minute H how am i gonna how am i gonna get how am i gonna get out oh my goodness i'm so dumb hit me up with the next one these all work i'm certain Wait, floating water? How did he do that? Water always flows downwards. There must be some sort of updating glitch. What is he doing? Flower pots? And he's putting flowers in the flower pots. And then he's watering his flowers? I don't understand how this does anything. He breaks the blocks underneath and then, okay, great. Wait, the water just doesn't flow down. How does that work? I need to know how this works. All right, here's the reality, guys. We're testing these tricks, but they're all seeming to work. So I thought I'd take it up a notch here, guys. I'm certain that we can get this floating water to work. But instead of using poppies like they did in the video, we're going to use blue orchids just to see whether it works with any type of flower whatsoever. So we'll go ahead. They destroyed out the blocks here. And then they went ahead and put down their flower pots. And all they had to do was put in flowers. Of course, they used poppies in the video, but it should work with any flower, right? All right, we'll go ahead and fill this up with water. Wait, wait, what? Huh? What? You guys saw that, right? I placed the water down. It didn't destroy the block where I placed the water, but it destroyed all my other flower pots. Is this the first? Does this not work? Guys, we're supposed to be testing these tricks, and I thought most of them were going to be clickbait, but this one actually might be clickbait. That didn't work. Wait, but this one didn't get destroyed. Maybe... So the way they did in the video doesn't work, so that's clickbait. But maybe it's just been updated and you have to do it differently. Maybe if we put the water down first here, guys, because then we can go ahead... Look, we can still place the flower pots as long as they're there, right? And then we'll put the flowers inside the flower pots. Okay, and then they destroy the blocks underneath. That should still work, right, guys? Because we've got the same thing going, all right? So we'll destroy those blocks, all right, just like that. And then I think that should work. I mean, those items are down there at the bottom, so they're not floating upwards, so I think we got the floating water to work. Wait, did we? Did we? Did we? Did we? Did we? We did it! It didn't work! Wait, what? Are you kidding me? No. Really? Guys, it didn't work! It, it doesn't work! It's it's a trick! Maybe it worked on the old versions, but it certainly does not work now, guys. Alright, well, that's the thing. Floating water is definitely out of date. Don't bother trying this, guys. My faith has been broken, guys. I don't even know anymore. Okay, what is this? A minecart on an ocean? But there's no rails. How is it moving? That doesn't make sense. Okay, so it breaks out the ground. Yeah. Soul sand? How does that help? And water on that. Well, I guess that has the soul sand bubbles. He puts rails going into the water and then he rides in the minecart. And it keeps his momentum? Again, I feel like this is just a glitch in an old... Wait, if he puts a rail down, he bounces? Okay, we need to try this. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to be honest with you guys. My heart is low-key broken after the last one didn't work. And now it's got me back to thinking that these are just clickbait hacks. Maybe only the first few were legit. So we've got a minecart here. And we're supposed to be able to use it as a boat and, you know, go across the ocean without rails. So all we need to do is place down rails going towards the ocean, power those, and then what? He had, like, soul sand just under the water. I think it was two blocks deep. Okay, let's go ahead and place those. Okay, so that creates the bubble column. But we can't place a minecart on water. But apparently if we ride it onto water, it should be okay. All right, guys, let's give this a go. I don't have high hope here. All right, here we go. Vroom. Wait, it still works. They haven't removed it from the game, but that makes no sense, guys. How does a minecart roll across the ocean without rails? 
It works. It works. Wait, if that works, then the bouncy bounce has to work. I need to see the bouncy. All right, there we go. So there, the rail go down, and I should be able to just jump over. Okay, wait, wait. We need to try this. All right, so we get in. We'll switch into survival mode here, guys, and into the water. Come on, come on. Whoa! That's so cool. You can make like a giant ocean railway and not have to use any rails whatsoever. You just need soul sand, and then you could have it like leading to like a secret base here where you keep like tons of your secret items. That's awesome. That is actually so cool. You can make an ocean roller coaster without a boat. You can use a minecart. Minecart boat. Mine boat. My faith has been restored. Let's test this next one. Okay, so we're digging down three blocks deep to by two wide and then soul sand at the bottom. Oh, another glitch with soul sand. Let's see what happens. So he's putting the water down there and then cobwebs above it, but why? And sand? What in the world for? What could this possibly be? Destroys the bottom blocks and then the sand, the sand falls into the cobwebs. And wait, he sinks into the cobwebs because that's so cool. That's working quicksand in Minecraft. Do you think that still works? Okay, yo, if this still works, guys, the trolling opportunities are insane because that looked legit like sand. So what they did here, guys, we'll switch to survival to make sure it does work in survival. They dug here, it was two by two, and it was three blocks deep. All right, and then they had soul sand across here at the bottom and they waterlogged these blocks. Oh, I've got to have to switch it to creative here, guys. I don't have enough water. All right, we'll switch back into creative. We'll put our water down and that should create our bubble columns, I think. Okay, it's not bubble columning for me. Okay, wait, we'll replace the soul sand. Did I do something wrong? Okay, we've got bubbles now. Cool, that works. And then we went ahead and placed four cobwebs here on the top. And they did what? It was two hive sand, I think. And then they just destroyed the bottom blocks of sand. All right, here we go, guys. Bang, boop, bam, and boop. Okay, so now the sand is sinking into the cobwebs. It, it seems to be working. Okay, while sinking down, guys, think about it. If this does work, I can troll my best friend, Ethan, my girlfriend, Ella, and my little sister, Esther. And their reactions are hilarious. It's just about done here, guys. All right, let's test this out. Jump on the sand. It works. I actually sink into the sand. Look at that. Quick sand in Minecraft. Wait. The sand broke. The sand still broke. Wait, what? It was working and then it wasn't working. Okay, I don't know how to feel about this, guys. I mean, it can still trap your friends, so it still makes for a good troll, but the sand disappears, so it makes it kind of less realistic. I mean, if you just wanted it to be quicksand, I'm going to say that this hack does not work. But if you wanted to use it to troll, this hack still works. So I'm going to give this a, a half-half. This is a 5 out of 10. It kind of worked, it kind of did it. I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below. Do you think that this trick actually defied logic and actually works? I want to know your opinion. Let me know in the comments. You ready to see more awesome hacks that defy Minecraft logic? Yes? Well, you should subscribe because that's all we've got time for today's video. So I can't wait to see you in the next one, guys. Until then, anyway, it's your man. Bye!